Hey guys, this is Tutor Will, and today I'm going to teach you how to write an annotated bibliography. Now, students struggle writing annotated bibliography because they don't understand what it is and how it should be done. So, in this video, I'm just going to walk you through on how to write an annotated bibliography. If you are a student, if you are a researcher and you've been struggling with writing annotated bibliography, then this video is for you. So just an overview, I will first tell you what an annotated bibliography is and why it matters. I will also show you the tricks that you can use to format your annotation according to APA 7th edition. I will also show you the three types of annotated bibliography. Then I will also walk you through an example of how you can format and how you can write an annotated bibliography. So if this kind of videos interests you, you can just hit the like and subscribe button. And uh, without further ado, let's get into the first part of this video on what is an annotated bibliography. Well, the first thing you need to know is how to format your annotation according to APA 7th edition. So as you can see from this sample paper, the page number is at the top right corner. Now these are the details. You need the title of the work. As you can see, care for dementia patients, colon annotated bibliography. So that's the title. Then you put your name here, that's the student's name. Then you have the department and your name, the name of your institution. Then you also add the name of the course, then your professor's name, then the last item should be the date. So that will make your title page according to APA 7th edition. So maybe you can have a page break. Let me just delete this. It's not supposed to be there. The yes. Yeah, so the second page is where your annotation starts. As you can see. This is the reference. Then these are the notes. Those are the two main ingredients that you need for your annotation so i'll then move on to the different types the three different types of annotated bibliography so an annotated bibliography is an assignment that most college students encounter when they are doing their various courses so it's not all that complicated but you'll find most students struggle doing an annotated bibliography so what is an annotated bibliography now these two words annotated and bibliography you can break it down now to annotate is to write notes now a bibliography is just a list of reference so to annotate means that you are going to write or provide notes on your list of references now what is this list of references these are the sources that you are going to use to research a, partic a particular topic okay so why 
is it that students are given that assignment of doing an annotated bibliography so one of the aims of doing an annotation is you access your sources now when you are doing research you are not just going to use any source and cite it as evidence for your research you want to use reliable and credible sources now for example most examiners want you to use journal articles now when you go doing an annotation on journal articles you are going to assess how useful is this reference or how is it relevant towards this particular topic now the second important thing about annotation is that it helps you to organize your research now when you have a list of sources and you've done an assessment of them you will be able to determine which source will I use for the introduction which source will I use for the literature review and which source can I use for the discussion so the entire process of writing an annotation is just showing the examiner that you are able to do research you are able to organize your research and you are able to write a good report on a particular topic So another thing that I'm going to show you is a trick that will save your life when you are formatting the annotation. So you want to use the hanging indent that is half an inch and to do that we are going to use the ruler. The ruler is here you can just hide and view it, it's accessible under view. So the first thing you need to do is to highlight all the references like this. Then you come here, move the ruler, everything half an inch. Move like this. See? That's how you move everything half. Then you move the top ruler to the zero okay so now that's how your references will be hanging then when you want to start typing your your annotation that's your summary and then evaluation you hit enter see that once you enter then you can come up let's say this is your annotation you now paste it here so you see it is hanging 0 0.5 inch the first sentence but we want everything to start on the same line so we highlight and move this lower part we just want the lower part alone move it like this now you see our annotation is now formatted properly so the first type of uh, annotated bibliography is to do a summary now for each reference you are, supposed, uh, you are supposed to summarize the article now how do we do a summary now a summary of the article you are supposed to write about what the research was about so you need to write a general statement or sentence about what 
the work was about then you also need to talk about the methodology that is the materials and methods that were used to conduct that research then you also need to talk about the results what were the findings of that particular research here on findings you need to focus only on the key results the key findings of that research then you also need to briefly mention about the conclusions so when you are summarizing the article the quickest way you can do is to go to the abstract that is the first tip i talked about go to the abstract it will tell you about the main aims and the methodology of this research so the abstract for example this article is about uh, the psychological effects or impacts of the coronavirus disease so you can see from the title you are getting a clue about what the article is about the psychological and mental impact of coronavirus so when you are not you are doing the annotation you start by writing that uh, this article was written by Luo et al. So in your annotation you start by writing Luo et al. did a research on the psychological impact of coronavirus then uh, you come on the you mention about the methodology you can say that they did a survey or they they did a study in a in a facility and so on you can see here they are mentioning about the participants so this one is giving you a clue that this was some kind of quantitative research where people were surveyed you can see the abstract is also talking about the conclusions so you can summarize all those things when you are doing the summary type of annotated bibliography now when you are summarizing i would like also to mention that uh, you need to paraphrase don't be copying and pasting what the article the information you find in the article so you need to read the abstracts you need to read the points and then you put in your own words for example you read the sentence like this one now the prevalence of anxiety and depression was the highest among patients with pre-existing conditions and COVID-19 infection so you close you close this paragraph then you go on your word document you type the prevalence of coronavirus was found to be high among the patients who had other conditions so that's how you do your summary you paraphrase so that you don't plagiarize so when you do the summary you don't need to cite again you don't need to use the index citations like this one you don't need to do this okay so that's the first type of annotation so the second type of uh, annotated bibliography is an, an evaluative annotation now in any way for this one you also need to first summarize the article or the source 
Now the purpose of uh, an evaluation kind of uh, annotation is to assess and evaluate a particular source. You want to assess and uh, answer a few questions about this source. How suitable or relevant is this source to your research? So you need to assess and you need to evaluate that source but by using strategies such as uh, you compare the source with other sources that you've been using or you want to use in your research. Now you want to say about how accurate and relevant is the information that is, in co is contained in that particular source. For example, what kind of uh, methodologies have been used in that source? Are they relevant to your research? Okay. Then you want to know if the, that source is also useful for your new research. Then you also state why is this source different. For example, what type of new information does this source have? Then uh, I would give you an example of how you can organize your annotated biography with an example of a three source annotation now you've been asked to do an annotation of three sources so the first source maybe will be for identifying the problem now the first source will be about backing your thesis the, the purpose of that source will be about using that source to back your thesis and identify the problem so that will be the first source then the second source you find another source that is relevant to that particular topic now you use that as the solution you say that this source is useful because it is identifying the solution that can be used to address this problem then the third source you can use is evidence for example if you are talking about uh, anxiety if you are researching on anxiety, you do an annotation on a source that is providing a story. Let's say somebody has experienced anxiety. So you want to annotate that source and say that this source is useful because it gives evidence of people who have been affected with anxiety and how they have been able to manage that particular problem so with these three sources you'll be able to organize your research paper and write it in a very logical way guided by the notes you've made in the annotation well the third type of annotation is the combination annotated biography now this is where you will combine the summary and the evaluation now for this type of annotation the best strategy what I can uh, recommend is that you have the first part as the summary then you have the second part as the evaluation so always remember that the annotation should be in one paragraph but you should just know how to end the summary and, and when to start the evaluation so the best strategy is to have 70 percent that is the bigger part of your annotation should be summarizing the article then the rest of it that is 30 percent should be an evaluation okay so why do we why do i recommend that now an annotation is just simply you are writing notes about the source that you want to use for your research so a summary is what is contained in the article you want to capitalize more on what the article is all about than going to evaluation saying whether the article 
whether the article matters to your research or not. But anyway, whatever I say in this video is based on my research and interaction with students. But the general rule is that you should always follow the instructions from your professor. Whatever your professor has commented, that is what you need to follow. Now, if your professor recommends that you do a 100% evaluation, then you need to do exactly that. But if the professor has provided some leeway, then make use of the bigger part and do the summary. Just write the article, what is it about, write what were the methods that were used to conduct the research, you write about the key findings, then you write the conclusions. So you can have like a name in five to ten sentences. That is half a paragraph for the summary. Then you'll add the evaluation, you do like three sentences. And that will be a good combination annotated bibliography. So guys, thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, comments or opinions, you can uh, just put them in the description of this video. Now writing can be a challenging process, especially if you are a student and you are working. So maybe if you need one-on-one uh, -on -one tutoring sessions or you need somebody to professionally review your essays you can just hit me up via the contact section I provided in the description of this video thank you so much and see you in the next video